when people wonder why everybody for Ireland they use so much skin products and makeup and it's because their skin is terrible. Oh, in the oh, bath with brown water, if you see the water, answer, these are the brown answer. water people. We we don't ask some people why they know they go to church, and <clears throat> people get story. Oh. Where this one talks the in be day choir before for for the uh, church, and the choir master don't they married. Say the choir master don't they torment and for for a year straight, non-stop saying one. Uh-huh. 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 <laughs> Did you get? She said she can't get. She say, and she don't hear say the man. They they frustrate girls when all they grief around for the. Don't say the Catholic Church now nine billion dollar they don't pay in settlement for children with they rape. Rape father than the rape for church. Eh? Uh, so, especially young boys. Does it mean say you you know they go church? No, uh, na juju me they do. Yes, yes, yes. I don't come back again with better news with the shake table. As I talk on before, for this very show, we don't send you too much with the talk on as it be. Happy New Year to all of you, 2024. They say no grief for anybody. <laughs> well, I for no grief for anybody. Yo. Ladies and gentlemen, today I get the I will go call him the legend himself. <clears throat> you know, I just people say that they tell you that they tell you that they look into your eyes, tell you that they're not the beat through corners, they're not the they're not the try and wind, wind the whole thing. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the big bed himself. No other person than Shane Kuti. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for having me, Fina. I'm really happy to come to your show today. Yeah, you're welcome. Cheers. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, same thing. <laughs> you see, I'm not grief for anybody. Including yourself. Including yourself. <laughs> yes, that's it. That's it. No grief for anybody, including yourself. Never grief for yourself. No grief for yourself. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> okay. So, um, you see, New Year does start now for Nigeria. Different story don't they happen. Since, since just they fled, they never let us enter the New Year finish. Everywhere does point. <laughs> because they do me, me I beg God, the other boy will start again because we don't do mistake. No, but you know, as usual, me, for me, we are still 2023. Today is December uh, 41. <laughs> <laughs> My bedding are tomorrow. Oh yeah, December you know, 42. <laughs> so that's January, the year start January 11 for me. Uh, I did do the December ish. So I just look at it, I see the spirit of 2023. Yeah. So everything don't boss. Yeah, anyways, happy birthday in advance. Thank you, thank yeah. you. Well, uh, I, I hope you, you at least, well, you're adding another year to your age. And I got nine the funeral now normally. So obviously, maybe you go go to church, go pray, you know, thanking God for long life and prosperity. Do you gotta be how you today celebrate them? Ah, you know, say for Africa really, if everybody for Africa embrace African tradition, uh, our gods deal with us all the time. We don't need to okay. go for church, we don't need to go anywhere, you know. You just be say as you know, we also be communal people, mm -hmm. we get shrine. For our houses, you know, okay. before before shrine, will be one place where everybody they go. You no, know, everybody get their shrine for house where everybody they pray mm -hmm. for there to serve their ancestors. You know, normally at the starting point of that family, the point of their land where it begin grown, and they set their their yeah. shrine. So yeah, definitely ancestors must be praised on my birthday. You know, uh, we must give honor to those whom honor is due. Okay. Yeah. Well, I I they try one digest this thing where you they talk. Does it mean say you you, you know they go church? No, uh, na juju me they do. As na they call na juju, no be juju na they call African <laughs> spiritual system. Okay, so, so if you offend me, I'll do juju for you. Yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> all my enemies, I I don't relent. Right. So you you you, you try tell me now say. You better say me we because personally in Nigeria because Nigeria don't they so. Regional, religionalize. I mean, I go to talk <laughs> um. I So join. they, we know they know the, the the real churches from from the bad churches anymore. Do you get? So you you feel say me we go back to our backyard, our shrine, you know. You no, know, I think when it comes to somebody believes, mm -hmm. advising is like relationship. You know, keep it to yourself. Nobody should advise people about their relationship. Just the way nobody should advise people about their worship. Even if the red flag they your eye like this. It's not your business. So, so what they be adults? Uh -huh. Now you're picking. 
<laughs> yeah, she be in the sea with you enter. Yes, uh, you know, says, now less in life won't change the person. Mm-hmm. And also, you don't know what is happening inside that time when you know day. Mm-hmm. So you can't judge the relationship be, with the time when you do with the sea. You know, and every relationship, they're unique. Be like fingerprint, basically. Yes. Everyone is so unique. Nobody can advise anybody about anything. So they they took them out for man and woman matter. Ju- I know they put never. <laughs> ne- I, whoa, I would just look like, say, if the wife tell me or boy, girlfriend tell me, oh, mm-hmm. I would say, ah, yes. If the boyfriend or husband tell ah, okay. <laughs> Finish. I know they get advice. Yeah. I know they just, ah. Okay, well, so as we talk and say that based on people believe, I believe say most of the times, even when they did church, they they see the thing say this thing not nice, but I don't know it's a one call and we know they make them move on. We we don't ask some people why they know they go church and <clears throat> people get story. Where this one talks say in be day choir before for for the uh, church and the choir master. Down they married. Say the choir master down they torment and for for a year straight, non stop. Say one, eh? Uh huh. I did the jagger. Did you get? She said she can't get. She, she said, and she don't hear. Say the man they they frustrate girls when all they grieve for and for the church. Now say she can't get stop. You feel say she for continue to they go to the church. They bear the harassment all for her faith and her own belief in God. I mean that's a very intelligent girl. Okay. We know say pastor going to use bodyguard and Mupo to protect himself. He you know they live in, you know they live in protection to any god. Yes, you know everywhere tight. Mm-hmm. Men day, mm-hmm. you know that star. Mm-hmm. Men mount. <laughs> so the girl self use the na the idea of the religious leader she self used to protect herself. Yes, I think our decision did very. Uh, and church is plenty now. If she really won't go church. She no lose much if she stops for that one with that bad choir master. Yes. She can try another one. Hopefully, <laughs> there will not be a bad choir master there. <laughs> Abby? All right. So, so personally, me, I stopped hopefully, going to church. Huh? Hopefully. Yeah. Personally, <laughs> stop, me, uh, I stopped going to church because um, initially, I'd be Catholic. You get I'd go Catholic church. I can't uh, the church. best church. D- Suppose the best church. Supposed to be the best church. Right, talk to the station. Like, the best <laughs> church. Yeah. So all hear the pope. Ah, yes. <laughs> Do you get? So as time goes on, different Before, things. Sorry, we are not cut you short. <laughs> no, say the Catholic Church now nine billion dollars. They don't pay in settlement for children where they rape, we father than they rape for church. Eh. Uh, so especially young boys, nine billion in settlement. Anyway, let's continue. What are you saying? The best church. I like Catholic church. It's the best. Well, I mean, that was my church growing up. You go see God for that church. <laughs> yeah. Especially if you're a young boy. All those altar boys. <laughs> oh. Yeah. yeah. The mass servers. Well, now my church before, but since can they go on, they don't, for that, Pope don't actually pass different kind of things. Then they'll be saying, and it not really sit right with me, but what to do, we move. But this recent one of, say, man and man, if he can't marry for not just any other church but Catholic church, I just tell myself I'm like, no need. But at this point, you know, if you say we not they offend God because we suppose go church, go go worship him. But now the things of the world, not they let some people we get sense go to church, serve God. You feel say we don't offend God like this, or I don't get it. Which I go tell Nigerian people is this: you cannot out pope the pope. And you cannot out <laughs> Mohammed Mohammed. <laughs> yes. Nobody will not get this religion. Yeah. If the people will get the religion, say, this is how we are now. Mm-hmm. Since you have succumbed, so why are you just follow? Yeah. These people came, they come to Africa, they kill your ancestors, mm-hmm. enslave them. That one no very serious to say you really go to church again. <laughs> now, because they can't say make two adults will be the same sex, they punch themselves. Say it's okay. Then I won't confess you. Brothers and sisters, I beg, I beg. This is their property. You if you tell somebody, now we for Africa, they let people come tell us how we go do our thing. Yes. What's that going to do? Like, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, ma. All those ones, it is that you can't do it. Which you Africans can only vex about it. Yeah. As you have left the church, as you leave that church now. Which is change for the church? They tell you, church, see, church. Catholic church, Catholic church, see, bam. All the money they don't take for Africa. All the gold they don't take for Africa. 
all the ivory they don't for Africa, all the knowledge they don't know, everything is there for their church. Is your vexation will never reach you to so say you won't petition your government <laughs> to begin ask them for all those things don't for Africa for inside Vatican. You won't collect all the artifacts stolen from our different different uh, ancestral land mm-hmm. with a mouth for their church up and down the place they use for decoration. No, all those was eh. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Eh, mm-hmm. I think that they mold them, you know, special or just do one for the. No, many things in the Vatican stolen from Africa with the eye for the award with the King Google present the first slave ship. She may not be Pope, go bless him. We more not talk good. We more not talk good aside too far, you know. Okay. But my problem is say these Catholics, you know, and uh, Islamists or whatever Pentecostal Anglican, you know, my great grandfather. Now, my family started the Anglican side of Christianity for this country, really. Oh. If you look back at it. We did part of the pioneers. So we've been there, we've done that, and we've moved on. And uh, we hope Africans can follow suit. <laughs> I hope we can do better. Okay. Well, this one say, well, I stopped going to church when I realized that the, my church was doing business. A billionaire pastor still having his eyes on poor, on the money of the poor. Is this what Christ would do? So, you think some of these things they make pagans, people, can't they lose faith in God? Who be pagans? Maybe not sleep of tongue. Maybe be sleep of tongue, Rufina. <laughs> Before I go say me, you go do a frog jump. Or you go and need that day and close up your hand, close your eyes. Sleep of tongue. <laughs> you know, a- anyway, uh, one of the things that confuse me the most about Christianity today actually is prosperity gospel. Okay. You know, the gospel of prosperity because that won't show me. That's why anytime we all this big pastor then do bad things or anything and people see they support them blind. I understand say nobody really they follow the book. Yeah. You know, people they follow personality mm-hmm. because nothing I believe if Jesus Christ come this world back now talk some trying things people go still push one, try kill him again. I they tell you. Because yeah. Jesus Christ by himself, the Oga of the, on the top, Oga of the Christian, <laughs> the Oga of everything everybody he said it is harder. No, he said it is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into heaven. <laughs> and every Christian in Nigeria just wants to be rich. So, yeah. it is either you people believe in Jesus and you want to go and meet him in heaven or you're just using this Christianity as a way to be rich. Oh, it's obvious. So when people say there's business, I'm, I'm wondering like, well, it's obvious. Even Jesus Christ, yeah, to be a Christian, mm-hmm. when people try to preach to me, say, oh, Sheo, you have to give your life to Christ. Mm-hmm. Now one question they always ask them, say, you get bank account. They will say yes. I say, if you get bank account, don't worry, you're just like me. Anywhere they go, when I die, is where you are going. Because to believe in Jesus Christ, it is not to believe in a man or a personality. Mm-hmm. Like we follow this. No, there are doctrines behind it. You yeah. must believe in the resurrection mm-hmm. and the birth. Right? Yeah. You must believe that you have immaculate conception, you must believe in the resurrection, and you must believe that he's coming back. Yeah. Now. Exactly. Christianity and Islam, these are not religions of now. Immediate. Everything is based on the premise, say, everything will end now. Yeah. Jesus Christ is coming now. You must believe it. If you don't believe that Jesus Christ is coming now, then you are not a real Christian. But it's all of you that believe Jesus Christ is coming now, you now have bank account for tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're saving for tomorrow. So that means you don't believe Jesus Christ is coming, coming now. now. Yes. You, you don't believe it. You don't really believe it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, my come, but there will be tomorrow. There will be tomorrow. Let me see. So when Jesus comes, that's how you choose his people. The people with that. That's why poor people are the ones that will go to heaven. That's what he yes. means. I'm explaining to you because in Nigeria like this, for example, now, now only five, uh, they say there are only how many people? 48% of Nigerians get bank account. 48 million Nigerians, sorry, get bank account. How mm. we take no during COVID, Nigerians say, may no do all this palliative way. May they share the money for everybody account. Government come and say, ah, you know, go work because only 48 million Nigerians get out of account. 200 million, <laughs> I get bank accounts. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So 
hopefully this uh, this country that's why this country is so holy they are really holy yes that's why this country is so holy many people will go heaven will come from nigeria because at least they don't pass the first criteria oh yeah they are that's living the in the now boss. yes right now anything is cut out and they are there now all of us 48 million we get back account we are in the same group we are not going anywhere <laughs> we 48 million bank account holders <laughs> lucky lucky dwellers <laughs> high <dwellers>. life livers <laughs> You know, best drivers. We are not going anywhere. anywhere. Hey. You know, so <laughs> because except we can find a way to push this camera ah. through the eye of a needle. You know, so yeah. that's why I don't really think so it's clear. And I'm say church, you know, in the way they structure is based on the business, mm -hmm. even against what Jesus Christ. You know, that's why Catholic priests have to live pious life. Yeah. To no marry, yeah. live in church property, like you don't own yes. anything. But in this day and age, find I say, why the last pope reti retired, the first pope to retire, to resign he in resigned. a thousand years. Yes. And Benedict XVI. He resigned now. He stepped down. Ooh. Yes, based to on financial Mario irregularities. <laughs> you know, so I mean. Oh, yeah. Well, that's deep, that's deep. <laughs> <laughs> well, this one say, I, I left church after I confided in my pastor about what I was going through and he went to the altar to not only talk about to not only talk about it, but also mentioned my name. I have never felt more embarrassed. The person get money. Who is the person? <laughs> <laughs> Just one of those we have. But if why you they you be comfortable to they always take their personal matter, go give? Um, because Nigerians will never get the also our our healthcare system no encourage uh, um, psychological analysis what people call psychotherapy mm -hmm. you know for where people feel go discuss the things with the bother them with yes. the professional and you have the patient doctor confidentiality mm -hmm. you know for Nigerian churches Nigerian pastors and imams you know Many people think it's the money that they have that gives them their power. No. Their power comes from the secrets where they hold. Now people are giving them. Yes. So you see all this your politicians, all this your businessmen, they do a lot of terrible things, atrocities. They keep people, they do all this nonsense that we see. They, You know, because forget, say, when I say they keep people, me, I'm not talking about all you rumor mongers, say, mm. oh, this person, kid, you don't have evidence. Mm. Eh -eh. I'm talking, say, you're supposed to build hospital for a year. You know, build them, not chop the money. All the people will die because the hospital no dead there. It's based on your, mm. it's based on, it's on your head, it's on your hand. Yes. And they know it. These people know. When they do all these roads, when they even mark, and they look, now living like it on a road. No, they don't even put mark for the road to know which lane is which lane. Everybody, they use their imagination. They lane their car. You, you know? get now so the, 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 I think uh, accident every day few people weeks dying. Back, few weeks back, I I had an encounter with Nigerian police around VI. Now I just they come out from the karaoke. Now where I pass go, I see another it's car. Is missing? Yeah, <laughs> we just go there. Go in case you want to do it. <laughs> in case I want to uh, do it. <laughs> so I see another car from my front. I follow the car self with the go. The next thing as the car just go, they just carry those their what do they call it? Like, put on your stop me, say I pass wrong way. I say how? No sign, nothing. The man says, see sign. This man carry me. We walk out, go from GT Bank, they there. The sign, eh, it be like waiting the mode. Can't use green, pen time. Can't do the front. Make it be like arrow, wait, direct, go back. And he not even day close to roadside. He day inside and he small. He says, see sign. I say, how do you expect me to see this thing at this time of the night? Now, so they do road sign. Before I bring out when they begin video. <laughs> do you get so i feel you see this road sign thing truly i, I feel a lot of things are not done they, they, they don't do a lot of things the way they're supposed to do especially for this island I may mean, i just say this island are just packaging everybody just they yeah, just the of course now just just packaging i call uh, you i call island livers brown water people you know, when people wonder why everybody for island they use so much skin products and Makeup and uh, because their skin is terrible, oh, they well. bath with brown water. If you see that the water, answer. these that are the answer. brown water people. You have to pity them. That it it is not easy to to be an island person, especially lucky. Yeah, and I feel it's overhyped. And then sometimes the brown water is smelling water. I don't know yes, where that one is stinks. called. I don't know. You people are living. I mean, these are posh. What else is more posh than that? 
You know what I mean? That's that posh life right there, fam. Yeah, but, 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 but next year, I want you know, to so move to you, the mainland. You know, so far, you bath your brown water finish and smelly water, at least use your generator for your, you go enter your beds, look your firehouse, I go hey tell all of us from mainland, say, I live on the island. I, live on, I don't I do not do bridge. I don't do the bridge. I don't cross the bridge. I live on the island. <laughs> and, and trust me, island is overhyped. No cap. It's overhyped from to the roads, to the water. I said they don't even mark on the express. To the expen- that expenses. Lagos State Government, on behalf of we mainland people that all our roads are mostly marked, uh, beg, we could not try help our island people. Yeah, good. I can see the you know, I bring can see them the pride. To, bring them, using to say this thing. We could ah, help us bring them, to, us. bring them to the modern time. This is 2024. Oh, you know, good. Uh, as I say, as a lot of no grief for anybody, even ourselves. So, I know normally government no good like to her. So, but more no grief for ourselves too. Government, no grief for yourself. Just help them. Help them mark the road. Maybe it's, you know, even though they don't want to repair, because that road be like. <laughs> 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 I mean, people could say NSAS don't do anything. I said, what do you mean, NSAS does? NSAS liberates that Lekki Express. It's liberated. We've liberated ourselves from the hand of these people sucking our blood, collecting our money every day. Yeah, the road be like this. there 10 times, you go pay 10 times. Or the road be like this. <laughs> Lots of go smooth to collect money. Now you go the road be like this, you go collect money. Isn't it a shame? Yeah. The people have liberated that, uh, that, you know, they passed that other bridge, you know, I mean. So I, as, as, as the whole situation for the country, they go like this now. You feel say all this, our social media shouting all the time, government do this, government do that, government do this, go walk. I be make all of us just carry our leg, just they go the asshole rock or whatever, because we need solution. Social media shouting is necessary. Okay. Marching to the office mm-hmm. is necessary okay but also it didn't necessarily make we organize ourselves you know you know they okay to just say we want protest we want talk for social media we must also get organizations you know we go help us implement those things we won't see in a political way because without the political voice mm-hmm. all those other social activism whatever we just pet away, or at worst, it will pet away at best. But at worst, it will be captured by yeah. the same people. The energy of it will be captured by the same people where they destroy this country mm-hmm. and they can't use them to their own benefit. I'm near for suggest say what if all of us just cooperate to say we not they do again, we will not be we will not, we will not be answerable to the government. Anything they say do, we will not go do. If not fight, make we fight. Uh, that not anarchy. Uh-huh. But my my, whole, my my argument always against the anarchists. You say, why anarchy? If we have that energy to destroy, why not just organize and be revolutionary? Because, yes, on the side of positive change, there's, there are the anarchists and the revolutionaries. Mm-hmm. The anarchists just want to tear everything down. Man. We are done. We don't do it again. Mm-hmm. You know, regardless of the consequence. But the revolutionary is saying, yes, we can tear it down, but what do we build on top? Okay. Because that's, that's, now with me, I believe be that even though you be anarchist, you must plan for the aftermath. Like me and my sister, they talk today. My wife, they decide what to, when they talk about that one guy, we go beat the judge. You don't see that yeah, video? Yeah, we dive. M- me, I can <laughs> do it. But the only reason I cannot do that is because I go ask myself, say, waiting, I won't gain. What it go happen when I beat this judge? What am I gaining from beating her up? <laughs> what it go be? What it go happen you after? Really don't what vest. It, whether I vest or not, that's just the wrong way to express because nothing will come out. You know, go okay. You land a few punches, bag, bag, bag. Except those, that punch is completely satisfactory to all your innate human okay, needs. Maybe now it's just one do. That moment mm. is okay for your life. You must be more tactical. Yeah. And that is what revolution revolution is. Mm-hmm. That guy, if he was a revolutionary, instead of making attack that judge like that, he go attack the judge through legal intellectual means to make sure see people say her judgment was unfair. But but you know, say the he, now, now, now this policy is for CDN. What if and they use a, because a good ana- analysis? Mm-hmm. See that right way go take time. 
Yes. Listen, few punches is immediate satisfaction. Sharp, sharp, yes. But you go and do double the time. You understand? Mm -hmm. So, but if in plan, strategy, fight with human rights lawyers who go take in case to prove, say that judge they biased, mm -hmm. she can even lose her seat. Which would be, mm -hmm. which would, which would mean say, he don't even blow him, blow in life. He blew the judge life joint. Which is better than any punch when he they deliver to the woman at that. At this point now, he's looking like an animal. To anybody, everybody wants you go even beat woman, George. Yeah, Congo you, be woman. Congo be woman. He beat so which you want, nobody mm. won't hear your innocent. Nobody won't know whether nobody go even help him now. Mm -hmm. Which judge you want right? Which lawyer will be human rights? You want right to we go say ah, this person now. Ah, Better person, I won't listen to her. You will go to the pit woman for public. Send a woman first. Send a, that one a first of first. Nobody first. will even listen to you again, you yes. see? Yes. So, that and the same thing where I, I, I discuss when I talk about the anarchists. Yeah. So, yeah, it's okay to protest and burn everything down. But what, where's the plan for the aftermath? Because whatever, whatever you like, there must be aftermath. Yes. You've created this vacuum. What you mm -hmm. feel? Um, mm -hmm. Look at the Arab Spring. Due to the lack of organization of the young people, we carry them out. They are back to a military general ruling Egypt as a civilian. Let's agree. But the people never got the liberation that cost the whole Arab Spring in the first place. Same mm -hmm. thing in Tunisia. In fact, the government in Tunisia now is worse than the government that they had before, that they were chasing away. Yeah, so other people they suffer this bad government. It's not only us. No, uh, not be only us. Now, now all over the world, everybody they suffer. So I'm saying now we don't know. Now only we know they fight back. Now okay. we know they are reorganized to create our own momentum to decide. Okay, we won't remove these people. You know, we just believe so we will recycle them. Mm -hmm. But everywhere in the world, where people they happy with their America, France, England, you know, everywhere, Australia, Japan. <laughs> Okay, well, fair enough. Well, talking about a um, woman, that guy will go beat George because even when I see him, I was like, like this, or this guy offends on plenty. First, now George, mm, first, now woman, you beat first, first, then she can't still be judge. And that one, not gonna let anybody help her. Do you get that so, be the problem? Wait till we go talk about <laughs> men, we be say any slight opportunity like this, they don't they beat either their wives or their girlfriend, domestic violence. Uh, it, nah, it did mostly perpetrated by men. But I like the way you use domestic violence. Women to the guilty of abusing their husbands. And it's just in the world we they live in, also, especially as black people, there's no justification for mm -hmm. violence for between two people in any relationship. But I talk me only like put my for relationship with my mom. <laughs> yes, yes. I don't know what you don't do for your past life. Yes. You know. We be say your spirit as somebody decide to be aggressive and violent towards you. You know. Because but sometimes when it's it abusive, not be about the woman. No, when it's abusive, you know, like this is something like nobody likes to hear. But my mother says, <laughs> my mother used to tell me. <laughs> After she tell me slap, you know, because as African children we are all abused. Yeah, we yeah. all have the trauma of abuse. Yes, my dad did not do it to me. My dad did not believe in beating us as children. You know, my dad beat me because I did beat my sister. Me and my sister fight. I didn't want me to fight my sister because she be girl, mm -hmm. but she was older than me and she was trying to. She always did some bullshit. This podcast, okay, bullshit. <laughs> you know, so one day we got into it and I punched and hit her and my dad found her and he beat me. That's the only time he actually beat me. You know, they beat us as, you know. But my mom used to kick my, oh my God, my mom. Oh. <laughs> that woman beat the shit out of me. But, but, but that one, even when we say women, that one, our mama now to pick in. She Any, can yes, do... no, I'm that, it's not right in any way, shape or form, beating anybody yeah. or Especially when the person is under your care. It's just mm -hmm. not right to be, listen, this pay the road and spoil the child. This is European mentality. Africans didn't used to beat, beat up their children. It's, it makes no sense. It's but now, why the children spoil? I go, they watch you. I'm gonna cut the cops. Uh, mommy, you're mad, eh? Why you say uh, they do uh, bad things? We go make a picking call cops. Uh, uh, we believe in this. I say Africans don't understand what it means to be African anymore. Like, even when our women they shout, hey, African men are something. No, this they might be black in Africa. They all of us see because we are black. No, but our worldview is so European. Mm -hmm. You know, like I say, a woman's place is in the kitchen. 
That's a European proverb. And it has no equivalent in any African language. Because the African society was originally a matriarchal society, meaning say it leans towards the feminine. Mm-hmm. Our society was feminine, you know. Mm-hmm. Now, learn, we learn how to become patriarchal. Many of the African men, we deal with their wives for house. We will see any small, say, I'm an African man, mm-hmm. you, you have to listen to me. Okay, she not only wearing your wife, when you won't bully your wife, now you go remember, mm-hmm. say you be African, African man. man. What religion are you? How do you dress? What do you eat? How do you see the world? Say any of these things, they African. No, only when you won't bully your wife. So that's not an African. That's an oppressor. Mm-hmm. You know, looking for any excuse to allow his oppression to exist. You know, so that's not one of the reasons why me personally, as I say, I don't really like put my relationships. Mm-hmm. People need to have some serious psychotherapy to analyze and work, that, work themselves out. My mom, when she abused me, she said, nobody's above getting slapped. <laughs> everybody <laughs> you know nobody's above getting slapped that was an excuse for slapping the shit out of me every time mm-hmm. you know so that's the world we live in but you know maybe 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 not but I don't think you know being abusive towards somebody is the way to go so me I preferred my dad growing up as a kid mm-hmm. to my mom who used to abuse me as you people call discipline now, eh, abuse you know, my dad disciplined me. In fact, I had more fear. Everybody had more fear for my dad than they did for our moms. And the man never beat anybody before. And uh-uh, then why the fear? Exactly, because he was disciplined. He was actually disciplined. I had to discipline us by not doing the things he said we should not do. Okay. The things my father said we shouldn't do, he didn't do them neither. So all these husbands beating their wives, wives beating, you catch your wife, mm. fucking one man, you mm. kill him, you kill him, go out for house. And you have just fucked six guests last week, different <laughs> guests, you know. So this is the hypocrisy but, you know, that exists in society that brought, brings out this, because we, must, we need to understand the underlying, underlining psychological. Mm-hmm. You know, Africans, we need to take our psychology serious. Our consciousness, due to our education, we basically train us, say, the whole premise of our education here mm-hmm. is to teach us that Africa and Africans is not a good enough reason to do anything. Yeah. Go and do it for money. That's education for African people. Yeah. That's not the same education Europeans receive or Asians. We are the only ones receiving this kind of wicked education. Mm-hmm. Our curriculum is actually wicked to the psyche and the consciousness of our people. You know, that says Africa and Africans is not a good enough reason for anything. Yeah. Profit, money is the reason. It's such a terrible education, you know. Yeah, I see. Uh, but I mean, I feel African women should now should develop that 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 idea of instead of them to be doing oh, it go change as if they should normalize hiring uh, three street boys to just no, help them. My beat point him, is, break his it's legs not African. It's not African women. Let's not say those things. Let's say victims of domestic violence. Oh yeah. Yes, I don't like to genderize it. You know, good me could genderize. Well, I see higher rates of divorce overseas. That's, that means those ones on the feet tolerate no, amato as no, for, they Afri- for Africa, they tolerate it there too. Mm. My sister Hillary ah. Clinton. All of us don't see white husband collect blue job over office. She divorce. Beyonce in her album she do she divorce. Eh, uh-huh. so. We must understand, say, many of the things that they try to portray is also not necessarily the solution to anything. Yeah. May I believe personally, say, I don't believe in people getting with violent people. Yeah. You know, but for some times, you know, maybe the, you know, I look at the situation, for example, as Nigerians from mm-hmm. my own perspective. Mm-hmm. No woman don't divorce Nigerian politician before because they destroyed this country. That's true. <laughs> All our politicians' wives hold them tight. No matter the atrocity that they commit every day, the corruption, the violence, the election malpractice, the rape and plunder of society. No, everybody else's wife hold them tight. Nobody they go anywhere. Nobody goes anywhere. <laughs> yes. Their husband will be responsible for the death of thousands of people millions of people destroying 
millions of lives. Nobody is going anywhere. Same as husbands, we marry women with a strong in policies. They go nowhere. So we must not genderize this thing. We must understand that it also comes from those that have accepted the rape of African society. If somebody can rape his society, then who are you? Yeah. You think you are so special that you don't rape you? You want somebody is raping his whole society. <laughs> then you, 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 one person. You think you are special. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Well, so we must see people for what they are like. I was sorry, then I'll let you ask a question. Yeah. Like I can tell a friend of mine the other day about, you know, he did tell me say, ah, Yahoo boys, criminals. We need to Nigerians need to distance themselves from these criminals. I'm like, how they say they launder money for Nigeria? He said through the banking system. I said so the bankers of Nigeria, these bank owners of banks, they are criminals. He said yes, they are criminals. I said, but have you ever said we should distance ourselves okay. from them? No. So you see, this is our lack of idea to see those that commit the the general violence against us, you know. So when I see that people don't regard those that commit violence against us as a whole, mm -hmm. they marry them, they praise them, they go everywhere with them, they put them on billboards, and these people are committing violence against us as a whole. But then you are suddenly crying for help when when it victimizes just you personally yeah. even though you chose to be close to this person that has shown you this trait about themselves how they can willingly and individually destroy a society but you choose this person because you feel you are special and they will treat you well with the atrocities that they've committed yeah. so sometimes that's why I say I don't put them out in relationships matter my thinking about things are so different. So, yeah, this person, I just say, it's not, mm, <laughs> <laughs> it's not my business. It's seriously, seriously. But, you know, I think we should do, I do better, as I say mm, now. I do days. better. I do better is my new, I do better. I do better is my new, I don't know how to say it. Just, I do better, Sha. I okay. do better. Let's do better in picking our partners. All right. Yes, it's true. We have a responsibility as African people. We're not like the rest of the world. We don't be like everybody else. We 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 as a, we get our case that special case. Yeah. Everything we achieve for this system, we achieve and through struggle, through sacrifice. To go to school, some of the guys die. To enter boss, some of the guys die. To vote, some of the guys die. This system never handed us anything since they took our lives away and brought this system upon us. Everything we don't achieve is through sacrifice of certain people. So we know if they behave like the rest of the world who they watch. Because white people, they do like this. Asian people, they do like this. We have things that we're supposed to do. No. Our situation is different. Yeah. So, so the other day, I was thinking out loud then. I couldn't tell myself, say, you see this whole issue, everything still they boil down to education still. Now, I become the talk, say, since they, they increase school fees these days, <laughs> that they go on. And if you, what if every, we just, what if youth just stop school? I mean, no big deal. Me, I don't graduate since 2019. Even though we say, I go on this show where I say, we'll be paid. I for sit day house, they think my life. So <laughs> I know many lying. of my colleagues we got that graduate, we sit day house, they think their life. So you what know, if everybody just stop school? Stop this could not be the answer. Because I feel country, I feel they will they will lack money. They will lack these school fees that they are increasing every day. Money will not but, come. But the country going to lack the knowledge we need to develop. But the problem we will most, get in, most people on the street that didn't go to school are even more smarter. I think there's even between being intelligent and being smart. Intelligent, smart is all about being productive. Okay. Now, African people are generally productive. Yes. People. You know, so in terms of that aspect, we are productive. African man will find ways to survive. Yes. Because they are nature to be productive mm -hmm. as people. You know, um, but we must also be educated to develop our land. Why are they hard for most people to do anything after they graduate? Because nobody they invest in those things where we need to develop our nation. So for example, mm -hmm. so for example now, if you if you did Nigeria now and you are a talented rocket scientist, mm -hmm. you read physics, you're a talented physicist, you're a talented chemist, you're a talented 
uh, neurobiologist, uh, neurosurgeon, mm-hmm. uh, many uh, robotics engineer, you know, so many avant-garde uh, industries. Mm-hmm. But the elites of our society refuse to invest in the development of this. So many of these people are those day for streets. We read all these things. And, and don't forget they spent money. They spent money go to school. Exactly. So their mom, papa sell land. Exactly. They pay school fees. So you find say many people will go to school. You know, like the new government magic from our part-time. For that say, them turn electric to can do government magic. You may say, ah, then they turn the doctor to tailor government magic. I see. That's we go to school, read medical medicine. Go, go finish, go on, go on, they do tailor. Education is not necessarily the key to individual success but education is necessary for national development but our own national development they don't turn um, turn the education to be another means of still collecting from the no, poor because nobody they interested in nation but as I say our education has because few say Africa and African people is not a good enough reason to do anything except profit you know so with this situation we be say if people don't make money from the mm. thing, they believe, say, Nigeria no need that. Mm. You know, the advancement of Nigerian people, the comfort of Nigerian people, the development of Nigeria is not a good enough reason for anything. You know, they're looking for foreign investment every time. Everybody needs investment, investment, so that they can make money off the thing. Yeah. If the thing don't make money, then Africans no need that. But many of the things where they make country develop, not be profitable things where you feel make money now, now. Mm-hmm. That is where you invest in the long term. Mm-hmm. Where you feel not make money, but the uh, effect of the of the action will reflect positively for society. Yeah. That's what we lack. You know, nation need the accountants, the nation need their lawyers, their engineers. I imagine Nigeria graduates thousands of engineers every year. Now yeah. you go to the can build road here. Do you get? You understand? Mm-hmm. So, waiting with the use of the engineers who they graduate. Nobody is investing in Nigerian engineering. Yes. You know? So, now this is what we need to talk about with that and see how we can change that situation to situation where we say Nigerian people will get government where they're willing to invest, will get elites, where they make money from Nigerian commonwealth, from our resources, where they're willing to invest the uh, uh, proceeds of that natural resources to the Nigerian people instead of to go buy a house for Dubai and buy a house for London, New York, Rolls Royce everywhere, also, get friends everywhere. Things, I feel so all of us together get this problem. For example, I don't know, I want to talk about majorly our some of our artists, the way that they buy, especially cars, where you know so you know if you even drive. For this, with that huge amount of money, I feel say we self, we will physically help ourselves. I don't know if I, if I they make sense. No, I don't. I don't believe in an individual issue. Be this. If you say we not contribute at least, we can contribute definitely. But people where they talk say musicians can contribute, entertainers to do more. I believe that for sure. But also, the lawyers must believe in justice. Our, almost all our lawyers our, and our, doctors, their their and our doctors must believe in healing there's so much musicians can do those ones also you bring doctor reports to, first. there's so much musicians can do to inspire the world to change if the lawyers don't want a just world if the doctors don't want a healed world if the civil servants don't want a functioning country there's so much artists can do to inspire anything so we key here into those things. We support the things where we actually want to see. That's why this lifestyle is trending because that is what our education has molded us to be over here. Mm-hmm. You know, conscious music, they there. And I believe as soon as Africans did that space where they truly believe in their own development, then go align with the conscious music because then go inspire the lifestyle where they want to live. You know, we attach ourselves to the lifestyle that we want and those things that inspire that lifestyle. You know, education is sacrosanct to the development of the nation because those skills where you need to develop nation now only through education, you know, not indoctrination. What do you get for Nigeria and indoctrination? So yes, I agree with you. Most stop putting the happen now. Mm -hmm. This indoctrination and bring some real education to the people. All right. So, of recent, this um, issue of mommy Z and daddy Z, the trend 
for the social media, the woman will say her husband say me she go cook for him around 4 a.m. for night. When Nigerians come, they dash things. Well, I can't find out say the man a graduate, the woman a graduate. The man do, I think it's a mathematics graduate, right? The woman is a geologist or something. I don't know. But they they poor. Now people they gift them. I see for NDPC, uh, whatever. All all these big big firm they give. I'm giving you two million. I'm giving you a uh, yes. phone. But nobody they do. I'm giving you a job. A good say you no. Know, they offer job because it show the analysis. I want to show you. It points to which I did talk before about the investment in the development of the nation. Right? Yeah. Many of these people they donate to these people. These big corporation firm. They refuse to pay their taxes. They are fair tax to this nation. I mean, I'm even seeing it as an ad, mm. advert I now. I don't care whether an ad or not, but let you know, this is the mentality of charity. Yeah. You know, even this TB Joshua. Okay. You know, is how all tyrants, even Hitler, this is how they behave. If you are going to punish 100,000 people, if you are going to abuse 100,000 people, make sure you help 10,000 people. Okay. So that no matter the screams with these 100,000 people where you destroy their life, there will be 10,000 people that will be shouting that you are a good person yes. up and down like a madman, yes. a mad woman. <laughs> yes, it's the tactics of... So all these Nigerian institutions and corp, no, corporations, rather, yes. businesses, big men, billionaires, just like Bill Gates, yes. like Elon Musk, like all these American evil businessmen, I have to say that's the word, that, that's the only adjective. I have to use for them. Seeing where the world is today and where they're still pushing the world to, I mean, global warming alone and the destruction of the natural environment of yeah. this planet is you know, enough indictment. You know, and they, all of the they lie as much as possible mm -hmm. that they don't know what is going on. But what is indicting them is the fact that say all these rich men, they, they build sick, um, survival bunker Yes. Why do they all yes. own survivor bunker? I, I saw the one Manzuga beg. If they doing. are pushing the world in a positive direction and they agree, why are, are they, they building, building bunkers yes. for themselves? What are they building it what for? What are they trying to hide from later? Exactly. You know, so this is the same issue here. Charity means that you control the goodwill. Okay. Thereby shielding yourself from anything where anybody won't talk against you. Anybody we talk against you will not be a beneficiary of the goodwill. Yes. You understand me? Mm -hmm. So that's why they like charity. They like to show, Especially, say, I'm generous. Yes. So you will want, maybe maybe they do bad thing now for your presence. Yes. You're not going to want to talk because you know, say if you talk, you will not be, you know, get access to that generosity. Just be like the way, way one particular artist don't use, help me find that boy, let me, help me find that boy, help me find that, get two million era. You don't use a cover. So even if something they happen, not, nobody they feel enter ram the way they go take enter ram again. That's what I'm saying. The that, charity that, don't turn nice service. Charity, they do be that. You know, so you know, find say these people, many of them they pay their taxes. Mm -hmm. If they really love people, they really want things to be good in this country. If the billionaires of Nigeria, all these big banks, if they pay the Nigerian government their fair share in taxes. Yes. Without all this hiding the money all over Cayman Island, Seychelles in UK, hiding all their wealth everywhere in the world except in Nigeria, people's life will be better. They might, maybe people don't even need me to dash their money. Yes. People will sick will get good health care. They will mm -hmm. come online say, I have kidney I problem. That. You will cause them to get that kidney problem because they donate 500,000. To them. To them. I service. Mm -hmm. You can post them again. And maybe people don't say, yes, this mm -hmm. is a good person. You understand? So that's the, that the way where they won't go with the thing. So instead of me, they offer those two people job to fend for themselves. Yes. They that dash their money. It's called virtue, virtue signaling. Virtue yeah. signaling. Because I was wondering, they dash, this, that you know, give job with even, better you know, salary. Like, and also, you know, now also advert for the system. Yes. Say, so keep your head down. Don't complain. Cook for your husband. Suffer in silence. One day we will see you. I will give you like you win lottery like this. Yeah. That's why Nigerians gamble a lot. That's why Nigerians they go to church and mosque a lot. Because that's the same thing that they offer. Yes. You know, just keep quiet, believe in God, say your prayers and your blessing. One day, like this guy, we can't give testimony. We come. That's the same thing with gambling, with the betting houses. You know, one person go chop hundred million. Say take twenty two hundred naira, chop hundred million. 
Mm. Bro, that one now, 100 million people will go use 200 naira, I want chop 100 million. Mm -hmm. We don't say we don't lose 20 trillion collectively yeah. to these companies. So it is the virtue signaling of, of, of the elites. Especially even now, of recent, there was a day I had an encounter with one gaming platform. They go just come, like they, they get one way they we come one time where I work for. But at the end, my fans come, they complain. Once I use 50,000, all the money I've gone, blah, blah, blah. Listen now, I can't write there and say, ah, far. What is this? Another gaming platform, I have to tell them and say, you guys are scammers. And they are coming from abroad. They are all coming from abroad. They bring things and they say, this is it. Is we Nigerians, of wealth? we usher in. The transfer of wealth, you know, and at the game way many of our, even our leaders, you know, even forget the mm, gaming platform. Look at our nation. And the same way they run them, you know, look at our resources as our money. Resources mm -hmm. is money. Mm -hmm. They allow these people to come and pack our money so far they give them some little share. Same thing as our celebrities, influencers, yes. who come to pack money from our people. So far they give Which us some bad. share. I know how many jobs have declined. So far, they give us, so far they give us some share out of them. We're ready to push it. So how are we different from these politicians? Yes. You know, because at the same game that they play with our national resources, mm -hmm. we play directly to our people to because the collective money everybody they spend. Mm -hmm. How many billion they see these people make last year? 19 billion or so. I don't forget that. I, I did check out, you know. Ridiculous amount of money we will say to see Nigerians keep their money in our own um communities socially to help our country will not be where we are today. Yeah. So many of these people just coming to suck suck things from us, you know. Okay. Um thank you very much. I mean, I, I told myself I say I must have you here because Anytime I'm watching your video, you must have me here for interview. Done. My wife is here. You can't just say you must have me here. Okay, that I is, must have you. That's true. And your beautiful is wife. You, <laughs> you must have us together here. I, I must have you. <laughs> is yeah. that what people do in this studio? <laughs> <laughs> is that what people do in this studio? No, that's Fina? not what we do. Or is it just specially oh, for me and my wife? It's just specially for you. You people come and go home with clothes. <laughs> Yeah, just one more question before we go. Well, uh, it, it's a quick, I just want to know your opinion about it. So, what do you think about reality TVs and the stars that comes out from, from it, especially here in Nigeria? Ah, okay. That one, uh, very interesting question. Because many people, let's use Big Brother, for example. Many mm -hmm. people from Nigeria are like, I'm for Big Brother, I'm against Big Brother. For me, this is uh, irrelevant argument mm -hmm. because the entertainment not show yeah. if you like it you watch if you don't like it don't watch mm -hmm. you know when people don't watch uh, they, they watch just to come and complain you you are making it more popular yes you know the only issue me I get with the Nigerian entertainment space you say they feed young people only one narrative you yes know? me I believe if there's a reality show like Big Brother talking about you know lifestyle mm -hmm. there should be also a reality show talking about education. Yes. It's a reality show about I politics. think we actually do, but it's not just popular. We have um uh, this uh, cow bear milk competition. Yeah, I know that children. one. Well, that one is for secondary school students. Oh, I, I mean, it. like, a reality show where they could bring young people inside house yes. and they tax them based on, for example, okay, young people in house, they get, like, the best students from the top 10 universities in mm -hmm. Nigeria, best male, best female. Yes. So 20 of them put them in a the house and every week they solve a national issue. Yes. And all of them come up with an idea to solve a problem in Nigeria and everybody votes for their idea. Mm -hmm. And linked in a way to say, okay, the winner of that, this in government can hear the idea and yes. maybe implement it. So that's the balance. Yes. The issue we have in Nigeria, there's no balance. Now they always tell people, there's no balance in our society. Those that want to extract and just suck, are the only ones just there pressing everybody and extracting and sucking. Mm -hmm. There's no balance on the other side to uplift and help and remedy and heal. Mm -hmm. You know, because not be only, we are not special. These things are happening in England, like in the betting, for example, but they make the betting companies pay for treatments, addiction treatments, therapy. Uh, uh, also, they do different programs to enlighten people, to educate people. Yeah. You know, and it's not like, how they feel they should. No, it is legal. They are obligated, you know, to do these things yes. to a certain extent that impacts to balance out what they are making mm -hmm. in the society. 
you know so that's the that's the thing for me yeah. all right thank you very it should much be balanced. yeah thank you i really appreciate you and your wife phrase i didn't even know you were coming with your wife but it's a privilege i got to meet your wife yeah she she won't buy me baby gifts <laughs> oh happy birthday was so in advance thank uh they you. should come to come and eat cake cool. i like uh, cake. you you come uh, are come you filming tomorrow <laughs> Yeah, yes. Oh, is it? It's tomorrow. My baby is tomorrow. Okay, no problem. All right, guys. Thank you very much. I don't see the whole matter as they play. They say wisdom is profitable to man. Than anyway, just forget about it. See you next time on Spill with Fina, and I remain your host, Fina. <laughs>